Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this has been a long time since I came on live or uh, made a video about uh, the life that we are actually leading now in the UK. Uh, just to let you know that it has been a very, very hard 10, 11 months for me and for the rest of the country and especially my Bangladeshi community. The, the procession of the coffins and the line of burial sites in the graveyards, especially from my Bangladeshi community, is actually breaking my heart. It has been more than a more than ten months that we haven't had any gathering, social gathering, business gathering, various associations and various groups of uh, all the organizational gatherings in the in the UK, nor in London, either in Northampton, nor either in Birmingham or anywhere. Whenever I used to go and I used to visit hundreds hundreds of known faces, well-wishers, friends, associates, many business colleagues. But with the invent of social media, I get to know sitting in my office or in my house that many of my those known faces have left us. The irony is we couldn't say farewell to them we couldn't be there with their friends and families, relatives, to console them, to actually express our condolences and sympathize with them. Our thoughts and our prayers for their friends and families, but wish the lockdown wasn't there, we could go and attend their funeral, their their uh, prayer mates and other things. It's really, really uh, disturbing me at the moment because um, the more I open my social media pages, every corner of the country in the UK, I get these news of deaths of various known people who have sadly passed away, fall victim of this pandemic. Now there is a light, there's a hope, a glimmer of hope in the horizon that is the vaccine. And I also see a lot of scaremongering, a lot of bad publicity, a lot of religious uh, misgivings, which may, may actually stop or hinder the vaccination or the inoculation within the Bangladeshi community. But I would urge everyone, I would request everybody to please take this opportunity to be vaccinated, to be inoculated, because that's the only way forward. If we don't do it, we will again become number figures in the statistics, in the Office of National Statistics the BMA, the other other medical journals, uh, any uh, home offices journals, the PHE, Public Health England's journal uh, reports, the Bangladeshis will only remain as data or numbers or statistics. We don't want to be that. Let us all embrace this opportunity and let's do something so that the community wide, there is no no misgivings can take place and move away people from taking this vaccine. Vaccine is the way forward and we must take this opportunity to make sure that we don't face these unnecessary deaths. And please, please listen to the government directives. Don't take any chance. There is no way to take any chance. This COVID-19 is real. I have seen my friends, my associates, my relatives who has disappeared. 
and I couldn't go and see them. What else proof do we need to ascertain as to what this pandemic is? So I would urge everyone to please forget about all these misgivings, all these bad publicities, all these um, talks about religious issues. Please take this vaccine, save life and prosper and don't don't become a victim statistics of various studies to come in the future days thank you very much i hope we all can see each other again hug each other hold each other embrace each other and radiate the good feelings that we used to do in the past thank you look forward to seeing you all again thank you very much